welcome to Sculpture Studios. Now, back at the end of 2021, we created a fantasy tree for the Cookie Cottage in Stratford-upon-Avon. First of all, if you haven't been there already, definitely take a step off of the high street and go and find this tasty little hideaway, but in the meantime, we're here to let you know that they're expanding. Hannah and Gary have got in contact with our studio a couple of times over the last few years, putting their feelers out for what potentially might be the next venture for the Cookie Cottage. The answer is Touchwood in Sullyhole, where a new booth is being opened up, chock-a-block with all of their delicious goodies. In keeping with the fantasy tree style from their original shop, we've been asked to create four whimsical tree stumps to adorn the four corners of the kiosk. Without a physical booth to clad around, because, well, it simply hasn't been made yet, we're creating these based on the dimensions that we've discussed with the client, whereby for now they're going to be freestanding tree stumps which will be fixed to the actual woodwork later. We're going to be carving these from polystyrene, where each corner is individual, with its own fairy windows and doors, and maybe a little twinkle inside, just for an added touch. With this hopefully being a permanent setup, we're then going to be coating the forms in glass fibre and resin, working up the surface to a safe to touch finish, and then artworking. Aidan's using hot wires, knives and nail brushes to carve the main forms, and then stonemason rifflers for the more detailed areas. Of course, you all now know what time it is. With the main forms being confirmed by the client, it's time to go on with our secretly sourced sticky back tinfoil. Please, by all means get in touch if you're looking to give some of this a try. This provides a protective coating before going on with any resin. This is a perfect time during the process to invite Hannah down to the studio. This way, everything can be confirmed in person before we go on with any hard coat materials, and any amendments can still be made at this stage. Everything can be positioned on the floor plan in order for Hannah to make final decisions for the heights and depths that she's going to have the countertops made, while still allowing enough space to move around inside the booth. As we're not creating a mould and a cast for these, but are instead going on with a blanket coat of glass fibre, we're conscious about retaining as much of the original carving detail as possible. If we went on with numerous heavy layers of glass fibre, this would just soften everything down, so instead, we're going on with just a very thin single layer first. We'll then remove the polystyrene from the inside of the shapes, and reinforce with more layers internally. A resin flow coat, not to be mistaken as chocolate, is being used over the top of the glass fibre just to soften that fibrous matte texture. Whilst all of this is going ahead, we're also starting work on something that was somewhat made as an extra gift last time. Oh my God. We created a tree trunk cross section sign with the Cookie Cottage logo sculpted onto the surface. We've now created a mould to make two identical casts, which we're artworking accordingly to be hung on the front walls of the booth. hollowing out the back of each form, and making sure to remove all of the polystyrene and all of the sticky back foil, we're now reinforcing what is still a very thin layer of glass fibre from the inside with more substantial layers. 
As mentioned before, reinforcing from the inside means we're not blanket coating any more of the detail on the outside of the shape. As well as keeping everything nice and neat and uniform for the client, we're also blacking out the inside because with the small windows we're installing, we're as yet unsure how and how bright the lights are going to be installed, and we don't want there to be a bright white fiberglass layer visible if you were to peek through. As we don't have the luxury of having the booth here in the studio to be able to butt these up against, we've created a perfect 90 degree angle corner which we can use to offer the shapes up to. This way we can create nice, tight, tidy squidge joins and just ensure that we've done everything we can to ensure the best chances of a good fit on site. The booth is going to be situated inside, so not only does this not have to withstand the elements and the weather, but if this ever gets knocked or scuffed, we want to ensure that it's as easy as possible for the client to rectify. With all of this in mind, we're going on with water-based emulsion paints, which will then seal with a water-based lacquer. Wooden blocks are being added to the reverse side of the fiberglass flange so that there's something to screw into from the other side of the booth wall. Fairy lights are being added behind the windows and on the underside of the door frames backed with a black sheeting so that there really isn't anything to see but the twinkling coming through. Unlike the original tree for the cookie cottage, which was covered in butterflies and cookies hanging from the ceiling, with this booth being in a generally higher traffic area, we didn't want to include anything that can easily be picked or pulled off. Everything's being done either by hand or by airbrush, and we're keeping everything two-dimensional for far less potential damage and easy cleaning and maintenance. It's one of those projects where it's great to have a returning client who's expanding upon their original ideas and coming back to us to make it happen. Since starting up the Cookie Cottage between 2021 and 2022, especially after such a down period during lockdown here in the UK, it really is remarkable to see how far the business has come from what could potentially be seen as a very risky time to start something up. Maybe lockdown was what was required to give people the time they needed away from normal life to plan things like these and start up a passion project. And who knows, maybe people just needed something a little sweet coming back into the real world, by which these guys more than deliver. Speaking of deliver, I wonder how possible it is to have a little sweet care package maybe sent down our way towards Essex, you know what I mean? perhaps even an Essex-based branch next. And speaking of branches, if you do need another set of trees made for that venture, you know you won't have to travel too far. like to thank Hannah and Gary once again for another fantastic project and we wish the new venue all the luck for the future. We always love hearing what you guys at home think of our projects and our channel so please feel free to drop a comment below and by all means subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep up to date on our latest videos. A big thank you to all of our patrons who support our projects and the creation of our videos. We love having you guys on board. And if you'd like to support our family-run studio, you can find our Patreon details below. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.